the Chinese population, the growth is slowing down. There's something called the TFR, total fertility rate. To sustain a population at the current population level, you need a TFR of 2.1 per woman, which means on average, though every woman should produce 2.1 children. If you fall below 2.1, your population is going to start declining. Respectfully, sir, how can a human have 2.1 children? 2.1 is not a whole number. A child needs to be a whole human. China has this weird system, the one child policy. Take any Chinese person, he or she doesn't have any siblings, no cousins. Because of the one child policy, which has now been relaxed, every set of parents treats their children as their most valuable and precious possession in the world. And they don't want to risk anything with their career, their lives, anything. So it's very difficult to convince them to send their children in the military. And the population is aging, right? The average age, I believe, is around 38 or something. By 2100, it could be in the 60s. Imagine a nation of 700 million people whose average age is 65. Who's going to do all the science? Who's going to do all the industry, all the workers, all the laborers. Obviously, one could argue that artificial intelligence and robotics will solve the problems, but who knows? Come on, man. It's all far off. In 2015, the government raised the limit to two children, and in May 2021 to three. In July 2021, it removed all limits, shortly after implementing financial incentives to encourage individuals to have additional children. We are now in 2024. Subscribe to RJ's Antics for loads more.